I'm Dr Anne Norcliffe from Canterbury Christchurch University, the Head of School of Engineering, Technology and Design and welcome to our new STEM building. This is our wonderful maker space. As you can see, our equipment is starting to arrive. We've got an axe minster, laser cutters. This is going to be the space that students and industry can come together to conceive, design and implement and operate projects to the benefit of the community and industry locally. Hello, my name is Leonette Dias, a chemical engineering student at Canterbury Christchurch University. I am so excited to be in this new space because as you can see, we have a lot of new equipment here. The difference I think this new space will make is the opportunity to collaborate with other engineers like they do in the real world. And this is the Materials Mechanical Engineering Lab. We are buying industrial quality calibrated machines, so this tensile strength machine, so industry can come and use it for testing breaking materials samples. Um, so basically this lab is going to enable engineers to make things but break things. So it enables us to understand the strength and the yield point of when a material when it's been stretched is going to break um, so we can see its elasticity whether we want it having no elasticity or with some elasticity. A lot of chemical engineers are in food industry and the pharmaceutical industry where hygiene is paramount. It's good to get into the habit of hand washing here. In industry, this is needed for process quality control. So welcome um, to our engineering workshop. As you notice, my scarf's gone. That's for safety reasons for in this space. Um, and as you can see, some of our new equipment has arrived. So the milling machine is going to enable students to be able to forex this machine and products out of raw material, but also design the jigs that's going to hold that raw material um, to mill that part out. Welcome um, to the Mechatronics Lab. This lab is going particularly going to be supporting um, students learning in their first year, working with Raspberry Pis and Arduinos and working interfacing electronics and electrical systems with mechanical systems because it's really important for mechanical engineering as these days mechanical engines are powered by electricity, not steam engines. This is new electronic electrical engineering equipment that we are having in the laboratory, so the oscilloscopes, which I'm really looking forward to using because I'm a process control instrument engineer, so I can look at instrument characteristics using the oscilloscope. So one of the things we are looking forward to using this space is the new co-locate robot. So it's designed to work in conjunction with a human being safely so you work collaboratively together. And what we're excited about is working with the students designing new grippers for new applications um, so the robot can work in the same space with the human being. So one of the potentials of this beautiful building is that we've got the medical school in here and one of the things uh, the medics are really excited about working with us and getting used to working in a collaborative space with robots. Now we're in the computer lab where we will be able to do simulations MATLAB and Aspen will help us to be able to simulate solutions to problems. We can use these softwares to simulate chemical processes. So the advantage of this space is we've got a server rack in here for the computing students, designing networks, but also get familiarity and be able to physically see it and understand for their networking rather than having it hidden in a cupboard. We're in a lecture theatre. It has a very different layout which encourages collaboration So thank you for coming on this tour of the new building. We're really excited about using this um, new space to teach computing and engineering and we would welcome you joining us on this journey. <laughs>